welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can use this new place database to predict the plant cis regulatory elements of a promoter so before i go into detail let me show you how we can access to this website so simply you we need to open google and we need to write new place cis elements so the first link is of this database we can simply open this and in this box we just need to enter the sequence of promoter of that gene for which we need to predict its function so let me copy any example of genes promoter so let me go to rice database so for this example we can use phosphorus transporter gene so we can simply write here like PTR genes. So we can see here the all the phosphorus transporter genes are there. So in this example, we can just simply use this third one. So we can download that sequence. So here is its genomic sequence of this gene. So as we know, uh, here it's genomic sequence and uh, let me use control plus f and we can search because we know that all the gene starts from atg so although we can see atg is starting from this so the promoter is mostly located on the five prime side of the atg so we can just simply copy this sequence which which is a promoter although uh, we need experiments to determine the length of promoter so it is recommended if you don't know what is the exact length of promoter so you can just uh, copy 2000 base pair upstream of this atg but uh, if you know if there are some sequence which are upstream of atg you can just simply copy because it can be a promoter so you can simply go back into that database and paste that promoter sequence here and you can simply submit when you will submit it will not take so long and here we can see the list of the promoter cis regulatory elements is here we can see on 23 to 89 we can see here is the different signal sequences which are known for the factors and site name so how we can know that uh, this actually this regulatory elements uh, is as essential for what function so we can simply uh, go here and click on open link in the new tab so we can see what its reference so we can see that it's uh, here it's pubmed id and it was reported in glycine max and nodulin so but here is a good another way to determine the function you can simply go to google scholar we can simply go to google scholar because this is uh, a better way than this because it just show you actually the citation i mean who discovered them for the first time so let's suppose for the first regulatory elements we can copy here and we can paste that regulatory element here so we will see uh, the first one here we can see that that is exactly that one which we have pasted and we can know distribution and abundance of cis regulatory elements in the promoter depicts the crosstalk by Verki gene so actually this is the Verki gene transcription factors regulatory elements similarly we can go for next and we can paste that one and click here so here we can see that that is the construction and function of root specific so actually we can determine from this that this uh, gene has some roles in in its root roots so now we can go to this regulatory elements and we can check whether any publication is related to this so here you can see actually uh, characterization of putative cis regulatory elements in the genes preferentially expressed in arabidopsis 
male myocytes. So from here, uh, the you can download all these paper and you can read that these regulatory elements are related to what function. By integrating all this information and uh, just you can have a key keen observation and check whether if there is a certain repetition of regulatory elements so that those can be more specific related to its function like here in this example we can see this is repeated at uh, several times like this, this is repeated at this place this place and this place so it means the phosphorus transporter portals may play also role in the male myocytes so in this way if your gene is also unknown and you you don't know its function so you can just try to um, paste its promoter sequence in this new place uh, database and you can have a clue about its function hope so you like the video if you have any question to use this please let me know in the comments thank you for watching bye bye